How's your team? Well, I feel like uh, we certainly made some progress, and you know, uh, this summer it's hard to tell exactly you know where they're at simply because we can't can't have that type of contact with them. But I feel like they're certainly headed in the right direction. It appears that you know there's a lot of hard work going on, and, and a lot of uh, a lot of time uh, invested uh, in football and extra film watching on their own, and, and, and again trying to become the best of their trade. But uh, we feel good about the direction. And, uh, we're going to have an exciting September, that's for sure. So the, our, our preparation time right now is, is obviously paramount. It's huge. It's, it's extremely important. And they're doing it on their own, which is a good thing. So we feel good about the direction we're headed. Can you talk specifically about the new coordinators and how they impacted the program? Well, I think Scott Leffler, you know, when I went to hire the coordinators, it was very important for me to uh, hire guys that had SEC experience and, if, if possible, NFL experience. And both of those things were, uh, you know, those were important. They weren't deal breakers, but it was important. And both of these guys obviously have, have done that. You know, both of them have been in this league in very, very uh, good programs. And both of them spent time in the NFL. So uh, it's been great. It's been a smooth transition. Uh, I think offensively with Scott Leffler, he brings a little bit of everything to the table. He's been uh, you know, the Lloyd Carr, where in Michigan, when they were very successful, they were, you know, they were run the football, play action ball, you know, your typical pro style offense. Uh, we went to the Detroit Lions, obviously the same thing. Uh, and then moving on to Florida, he has a little bit of the flavor of, um, a little bit of the flavor of the Tim Tebow type offense, which is similar to what we've been in the last three years. So, you know, he brings all three of those experiences to the table, which is a good thing. And uh, with Brian, both of us being four or three guys from, from way back, uh, he brings a, a lot of accomplishments uh, and experience from this league, being in Georgia several years ago, and then being most re recently the uh, defense coordinator for the Atlanta Falcons and being very successful there. So uh, it's been a great transition with him, and uh, again, we're just uh, we're blessed to have both of those guys with us. They've done a great job. Can you talk about the level of competition from the beginning of spring amongst your running backs and, and, and what the expectation about that group is going to the fall? Well, it's going to be a very interesting uh, competition. We've got some several guys that, you know, kind of all bundled up in there together. You know, there's not a lot separating them in any category, size, uh, speed. They're all kind of the same. You know, they're 200 to 210 pound guys, you know, all can run. They've got good vision, and it's going to be a great competition there. And it's really uh, going to come down to who's the most productive in, in camp. You know, we know what Ontario McHale can do. He's a very productive back. We're going to have to use him in the right way without question and, and make sure that you know, we're getting him the ball in ways that, where he can be the most productive. And he has been productive. He was the MVP of the Chick-fil-A Bowl you know, on offense for a reason. And, uh, so, uh, well, uh, two days will tell a lot about the that, about that group of players, uh, but again, we have got some good choices there. Coach, you were in the league when uh, Pratt Mangler was at Georgia and David Pollock. Do you see Corey getting as good as Pollock was in the new defense? Uh, you know, I'm not going to throw any comparisons out there to anybody. Corey's his own guy, but Corey has a chance to be a very good football player. Uh, he's got, you know, he's he's got some. Some work cut out for himself to do, uh, but he's willing to do it. And that's the thing that I love about Corey. Since the day he stepped on campus as a true freshman, and we told him when we recruited him, you know, unless you come in and just uh, completely uh, go south, you're going to play as a freshman. You're going to play a lot, and he did. And I'll say the same thing now that he's a junior. He's got a chance to be a really good football player. He's got a chance to complete himself as a player. Uh, he's got to you know play the run and, and learn how to hold up against tight ends and. Some, you know, some different things that really can uh, elevate his game, but he definitely can do it. Uh, but more importantly, he's willing to do it. Corey described this, the comparison between this defense and last is this one seems to be more aggressive and, and not reactive. How does that mesh with your philosophy and how you want this defense to be? Well, you know, I love it. And, uh, you know, again, I think Coach Van Gorder coaches with an edge, you know, which is what I believe you really, really got to do because uh, you will impart eventually that same edge to your defense. We haven't arrived yet, but we're working in that direction. Uh, but Coach Van Gorder and I are very much on the same page philosophically with what we believe works. 
what we believe is important. And uh, so uh, I saw our defense grow some in the spring. Uh, got a lot of room for growth yet left. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, you know, Coach Van Gorder is very good at what he does. And we expect a lot out of our defense. So I think, you know, again, everyone speaks to the song. 